Hey, welcome back kids. Let's get started with the rules. What's rule number one? B, that's right, quiet. Show me your number one finger, put it near your lips, grab a bubble, <gasps> paw. Excellent job. Rule number two is stay seated. Okay, if you're here at church, stay seated, okay? If you're at home, you can stand up if you want, you can stand on your head, you can do whatever you want at home. But if you're here at church, I need you to stay seated, okay? That'd be awesome. Rule number three is be a good listener. That's right. And if you're at home, I want you to be listening. And if you're here at church, I need you to be listening. Okay? You guys ready? All right. Do you know what time it is? It's Bible verse time. All right. Here's our Bible verse. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139. 14. Hey, let's do it again. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. Okay, thanks, Sean. I like that Bible verse a lot. Let's do it together, okay? I praise you because I am fearfully, show me fearfully, and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. All right. You guys want to do some voices? Yeah? Okay. First voice. Three, two, one. <laughs> Loudest <laughs> whisper. Can you be loud and whisper? I bet you can. Okay, let's do it together. I praise you because I am fearfully... And wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. Whew. All right, let's do a second voice. You guys ready? Three, two, one. Pirate voice. All right, you guys ready to be a pirate? All right. Do you want to have a hook or a peg leg or a patch on your eye or a parrot? Do whatever you want. Okay, here we go. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. Oh, great pirates, guys. You were kind of scary. I'm not going to lie. All right, third and final voice. You guys ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Sloth. Is a sloth really fast or really slow? I think you guys know this. What is it? Slow. Okay. We are going to do this so slow together, okay? Let's see who can be the slowest. Here we go. I praise you because I am fearful. We, you can do it. And wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. Woo! You guys, that was so slow. You did the best slothas in the world. Slothas, slothas, slothas. Yeah, something like that. You did so good being sloths. Okay, can't wait to tell you this story. <laughs> Hamilton, oh man. You guys wanna see what he left in the basket? He always leaves me a clue. Let's see what it is. Wait a minute, he left me. What is that? Does anybody know what that is? Oh, that's, that's oatmeal. Oh, it's my favorite, cinnamon and spice. I love oatmeal. You guys like oatmeal? Yeah, I have a whole package at home. It's a great big package, like family package. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. That's what I eat. Oh, I love it. So today's story is about oatmeal. I don't think it's about oatmeal at all. I think it's about, oh, it's about food. Ah, I know what it is. Okay, you guys ready? 
This is the Bible. That's right. And the Bible is God's word. And God's word is true. Ugh, you guys know it's true. All right. So last week we talked about the Israelites and how Moses took them from Egypt out of slavery, away from the Pharaoh, and brought them back in to, uh, it was taking them to the promised land, okay? Remember, they came up against the Red Sea, and they didn't know what they were going to do. And then, and then Moses took his staff, and he put in the water, and the water split, and they walked across. And then when the king's army was coming after them, the water came crashing down on them. Remember all that? Oh, yeah. So anyway, they're walking in the desert. Is the desert hot or cold? That's right, it's really hot. The sun is bearing down on them. And they're like, oh, it's so hot. It's so hot. And they were complaining. And they were miserable. And they were like, we, we haven't eaten for a long time. We're really hungry. And all of a sudden they heard a noise. It went like this. <gasps> you think that was a bear? No? Let's try it again. Can you do that with me? Yep. And so Moses was looking around. And he's like, does anybody know what that sound is? And he looked over at his brother Aaron. He's like, Aaron, what is that noise? And Aaron said, it's my stomach. Remember, we're hungry and we're in the desert and we can't wait to eat. And we're so, we should have stayed in Egypt. We just should have stayed in Egypt that we had food there at least. I know we worked hard and we weren't treated well, but at least we had food. And so, so Moses, he goes to God, and he's like, God, they're complaining. I don't know what to do for them. And God said, don't you worry. Have everybody go to bed tonight. When they wake up, I'll make sure they get fed. So everybody went to bed on an empty stomach. Sometimes that happens. And they get up in the morning, and they opened their tents, and they walked out. And all over the ground, there was manna. Can you say that with me? Manna, right? And manna is the food that God sends, like a seed. And they took the manna. And they gathered it up, and they would mash it together, and they made, um, like, cakes, right? And they made some bread with it, and um, they had, they had uh, manna, manna, manna sandwiches, and uh, manna, uh, let's see, manna soup, and, and manna stew, and manna kebab, and, um, yeah, all, everything. Everything manna, day and night. But at least they had food, right? Okay? And so... <clears throat> They were like, yeah, manna, that's good, but what else? So God, every morning after that, sent quail. What is that? It's just a bird. It's like a chicken. So you could make yourself a quail sandwich, you know? Make yourself some bread out of the manna and then put some quail on it, and it was delicious. Now, the Israelites were, were okay because they were eating, but they went, hey, Moses, this manna, it's a little dry. We're not going to lie. And Moses said, oh, my gosh, they're complaining again. So he went to God and said, God, they're complaining again. I can't believe these people. I can't make them happy. And God said, okay, we're going to give them water to drink. He said, go over to that rock. Take your staff. Remember the staff you use, all the different miracles we've done. And I want you to just, just hit it as hard as you can. Moses was like, okay, God, we'll see what happens. So he went over, and he hit it as hard as he could, and then water started rushing out. Beautiful, clean, crisp water. So the Israelites had water to drink, and they had food to eat in the desert on their way to the promised land, right? Man, I love the way that God took care of them. Does God take care of us too, guys? Yeah, raise your hand if God takes care of you. Everybody should be raising your hand because God takes care of all of us, guys. That is so awesome and amazing. Oh, so guys, don't forget, come and um, be on my Wednesday calls. I have Zoom meeting with everybody. Um, I don't know what we're doing this week, but it's going to be fun. Zoom in. Um, come at 6 o'clock on Wednesdays. We're going to have so much fun. I cannot wait to see you guys. And if you come to church, yeah, I can't wait to see you. Give me a high five or air five. Yeah, something like that. All right, you guys ready to pray? Hands in the air. Wheel your fingers together. All right, put your hands on your head. On your head, on your head, on your shoulders, on your elbows, on your knees, on your elbows, on your shoulders, on your head, on your knee, elbows. <laughs> All right, guys, you ready? All right, wiggle your fingers, put them together, blink your eyes closed, repeat after me. Hi, God. 
It's us and Vineyard Kids. Thank you for our teachers and helpers. Thank you for our family and friends. We love you, God. Amen. See you guys next week.